today, T-Rob is gone. My thoughts on the offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator search. And more news. Look, we got a lot to talk about, guys. But if you rock it with the U, do you know what to do? Hit that like button and enjoy the video. A special salute for the truth. Sean Taylor. See, everywhere I go, you know I rep that you. You, you. Orange and green from head to toe, that's you. You, you. Before we get into the Canes news, I have gotten a couple messages about my Canes background. Some people out there want to add to it or send me Miami Hurricane items to help contribute to the background, to help build the background. And if you're one of those people, I have added my P.O. box to the link in the description in the pinned comments. Now, let me make this perfectly clear. You guys are my family. You don't have to send me anything. Matter of fact, the most important thing you can give somebody is their time. And you guys give me your time every day by watching the video. So I love you. I appreciate you. And for those who do want to contribute to building up the Kane's wall, check the description in the pinned comments. First story of the day is Nesta Severa, former Miami Hurricane, has picked the school he'll play for. He will be heading to Arizona State to play for Herm Edwards. Big Nesta, all I can say is I wish you the best. You didn't go to a rival like some suckers do out there. You headed out there to the desert. Good luck to you, big fella. Also, big shout out to former Miami Hurricane Glenn Cook. He did do an interview today to be the next general manager with the Minnesota Vikings. He just did the interview. So I just wanted to say, hey, we rooting for you. Good luck, my guy. Next up, some recruiting news. We, we're on commit watch with Jack Pyburn. Most of you have heard of him. The three-star edge rusher, 14 sacks, 32 tackles for loss in 2021. And his recruitment's coming down to us or Auburn. But it was also announced yesterday that Florida State, that bum school is trying to sneak into his recruitment as he will be taking an unofficial visit. Yesterday, I did a highlight reaction video of Jack. Make sure you go check that out, and he will be committing on the 27th of this month. So keep your eyes out for that, and of course, I'll let you guys know what he decides, Miami or Auburn. Now, speaking of Auburn, Bruce Feldman tweeted this out last night, and it caught my attention. Auburn defensive coordinator Derek Mason has emerged as a strong candidate for the Oklahoma State defensive coordinator vacancy. The Tigers ranked number four in the SEC this year in fewest yards per play allowed. So I saw that and I thought, Oklahoma State, why don't Derek Mason come to the U? Why don't he become a Miami Hurricane? And then this interesting tidbit popped up on the Auburn message boards by an Auburn staff member. Hearing Miami has interest for his defensive coordinator opening as well. Now, I really don't know what to believe, but if Bruce Feldman says something, I usually run with what he says. So if he's the strong candidate for the Oklahoma State job because, uh, you know, Oklahoma State lost their defensive coordinator to Ohio State. But if it don't work out, I would love Derek Mason as the defensive coordinator for our Miami Hurricanes. You know, he's doing well at Auburn, has former head coaching experience. Hell, he took Vanderbilt to two bowl games. Shit. So I would love for Miami to go after and get Derrick Mason. What do you guys think? Are you yay for Derrick Mason as the defensive coordinator for Miami? Or nay, let me know in the comments right now. It seems as he could be he heading to Oklahoma State. But I thought that was an interesting tidbit that our name got brought up in the convo. So we're still looking for a defensive coordinator. We're still looking for an offensive coordinator. And now our Miami Hurricanes are looking for a defensive backs coach as T-Rob has officially Hit the dough. T-Rob is gone, and this is something that was rumored a couple weeks back. Then it got quiet, and now it's basically official. It's being reported that he will join Alabama's staff. I asked on Twitter, is this a big deal or is it not a big deal? 128 people voted. 52% said big deal. 48% said no big deal. And here are my thoughts on this situation. I'm honestly kind of split. Because it's a big deal in a sense of he's a good coach, he's a good recruiter, and he did well with our young safeties last year. But to me, it's a no big deal, too, because in my mind, when we hired T-Rob last year, I didn't think he was going to be here for, I thought he was going to be here maybe a year, maybe two years, at max. 
because he's a hot commodity and everybody wants to add him to the staff. The Alabama's coming for him. So with that mindset, I just never assumed he was going to be here. You know, I just, you know, basically I was like, hey, we're going to use him as long as we can, and then he's going to dip out. Now, I will say to me, I feel like it's better that he went to Alabama rather than losing them to a fucking Duke, Florida, Florida State, something like that. But let me know what you think. T-Rob is gone. Is it a big deal or no big deal? I don't think he was here long enough for us to be throwing a big deal. He didn't go to a rival. He went to Alabama, which is only going to strengthen Alabama. I do agree with that. And I hate that. But look, when Alabama and Georgia want your coaches, you know you're doing something right. So it is what it is. Now, let's kind of have a talk. Let's have a family meeting. Let's gather. Let's get some coffee if you're drinking coffee today. And let's talk about Mario Cristobal. Let's talk about the offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator, and we don't have either one. We don't know what happened with the offensive coordinator. We know Kendall. We know Browse. We don't know exactly what happened, but basically neither one of them, as of right now, are coming to Miami, so we have no offensive coordinator. And I can't lie to you. I want to know who's going to be the offensive coordinator. I want to know who's going to be the defensive coordinator. I'm starting to get a little antsy. I'm starting to reload, reload, press, refresh, refresh, press. But then I was like, damn, I remember feeling like this before. When did I feel like this before? I started to think. Well, it was when we had Manny Diaz in no man's land and there was rumors about Mario Cristobal. See, if you rewind back to those times, there was a lot of rumors going out, right? People were saying, oh, the Miami coaches search is a shit show. Oh, we don't know what's going to happen. Mario's not going to come. Mario is going to come. Mario is signed on the dotted line. Mario hasn't come, hasn't signed on the dotted line to where we're at the point where nobody really knew anything. You know, shout out to David Lake because David Lake of 247 was saying, look, there's there's everything. They know what they want to get, right? Miami knows who they want to get, and they're going at them. This rumor that it's a shit show is not true. We get the AD. We don't got the AD. There's reports that the, that, the, uh, uh, that Rad has joined Miami. Then there's reports that Rad is staying at Clemson. And that's the same feeling I'm feeling right now. We're hearing Derek Mason at, at the fist of coordinator. We're hearing... Kendall Browse got offered. He didn't get offered. We're here in Kendall. We're, listen, listen, listen. All I know is when the dust settled, the last time I had that feeling, we ended up with Mario Cristobal. And I learned a lesson to Grant to say, Grant, listen, sometimes good things, they take time. They take patience. So Mario is taking his time and he's hopefully getting it right. I'm not saying Mario isn't missing out. I'm not saying coaches don't want to be with Mario. I'm not saying Mario is perfect. What I'm saying is let's be patient and let's judge after the fact. Let's not start judging right now because I'm seeing people actually turn their back. There's, you know, it's not a lot of the fan base, but some people are saying, oh, do we have buyer's remorse? Oh, we gave, um, we gave him $8 million and he's not doing nothing with it. All I'm saying is, let's see what happens and then, and then make the judgment because the same notion was thrown out about us looking for a head coach. And when the dust settled, we got us a good AD and we got us a good head coach. So let's see what happens. The next thing I want to say is, I remember there was a guy who got hired and the first thing he was doing was coming up with catchphrases. He was uh, he was on yachts. He was uh, he was hiring the coaches that we were throwing out there. He was he was doing doing shit quick. He came in, overhauled the recruiting um, the recruiting office. You know, he started handing out promotions to the left, handing out promotions to the right, getting the offensive coordinator, bringing his homeboy to be the defensive coordinator. Shit was getting done fast. And when the games were played, we got our ass kicked. Mario is keeping things tight-knitted. 
He's keeping things under wraps. Hell, every time I refresh on Twitter, I'm not seeing a catchphrase. I'm not seeing a, you know, running up into a coach's clinic. What I'm seeing is Mario taking pictures with high school coaches. Mario recruiting. Mario building relations. So the man is working. So let's have a little faith. That's all I'm saying. Let's have a little faith. Can Mario do wrong? Yes, he can do wrong. But let's wait to see the final outcome. Let's wait and see. Let's take our time and let's get it right. I'm out. Peace.